Okay, so this is the electric bike I've been building for forever. Um, Fuji Discovery SX, and it's got the Bafang 8 slash 8 fun uh, 750 watt motor. Um, yeah, for the battery, got a Pelican case, which in there there's a um, a ping battery from pingbattery.com. Uh, uh, 15 amp hours at 48 volts. Um, Pelican case is 1400. Can't look, can't see the the number, but it's 1400. I'll try and leave links for everything I got and where I got it. Got this is a camping light. I use as a headlight. It's got some red filters on the lenses. Um, that was one I was using as a camp light, but I'll probably take those back out. Maybe not, I don't know. Just a military pouch for a water bottle holder. Um, most of the stuff I got off of uh, Amazon whatnot and bang good. These mirrors came off of bang good. Grips. These grips are alright. I should have chose the bigger ones. I forgot the brand name, but once again, I'll try to leave links. They're uh, silicone. They look pretty good. Just wish they were a little thicker, which they did off for that. I just was worried they'd be too thick. Some cheapo mud guards I just got. They're like four bucks. Everyone else is like twenty, I don't know why. But they've been working good so far. It's actually both the front and the back uh, on the same tire. <laughs> like this one's the actual what's supposed to be a on the, the front tire, that one's for the back tire. Down here I got the ESGE or whatever it is or Fletcher. Uh, kickstand. Uh, you can see the label there. Uh, works pretty good. Just uh, with my big battery up there, that battery's like, I don't know, I would guess like 20 pounds with the case and everything. It's pretty heavy. Um, so my bike's really top heavy. Out of all the kickstands I tried, this one's the one that fits, works the best. I tried like, I don't know, four different brands of kickstands. Uh, this one, this is actually the second time I tried this brand. I had all this stuff on a different bike, and uh, but that one didn't, the kickstand wouldn't work on it, it was the wrong angle, and, but it works, this one works, just barely, I wish, I need to make some little feet pads where it like, stabbing into the ground, um, yeah, it doesn't work too good off of, on dirt either, it's working for now though, um, these are some solar panels I got off of Banggood, uh, they work surprisingly well. I thought they were going to be the same as my camping ones, my all powers one. But they're actually like, I don't know, ugh. they're actually like this much longer. I don't know, they're a little bit longer, but same stats and everything. And they work, they work exactly as they said on being good. It's ever better because these, I realize, actually work backwards. There's two of them, one on this side. Ugh. They actually work backwards though, like you can lay them in the sun and they'll produce. I measured and did the math, it was like, 80% efficiency of what it normally does, whatever, I can't remember, but there's two of them, and with the two of them, it ended up being more than enough to recharge the headlight, which is good. They came with little outlets, USB outlets that I modified in a little box, and there's little 12 volt outlet things, um, wrapped the extra wire around it, I had to take off my second water bottle holder to, uh, made a little plate out of a little piece of sign. Yeah, just Velcro's on. I can take the mirrors off and lay them out in the sun to charge something else if I want to. Uh, I can also charge the, uh, all right, the mirror or the solar panels go up to light. That's the plug here, and then I can plug something in the batteries and charge it directly from the light if it's nighttime or whatever. Or it actually just charges better from here than from there. But yeah, it's just got two uh, 18650s, and I know that sun isn't very good, but. Uh, here we go, that's actually better. But yeah, it's just got two 186s. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. 18650s. Um, I've glued all kind of extra reflectors made out of some sign, um, with hole saw. I originally had a stupid uh, GNG electric bike kit, but that one sucked, and I made a a thing for it that involved, I cut up a sign, there's a bunch of 
so uh, extra leftover. And yeah, long story short, I made it in a bunch of reflectors. Got a pump, some more reflectors there. I don't have it with me right now, but here normally I have a Parmesan cheese jar filled with like literally all my tools I have in, in there. There'll be Allen wrenches, both metric and English, like full sets. I got a patch kit, I got a bottom bracket tool, uh, whatever the tool for here is, the arm tool or whatever. I got a crescent wrench up here with some N52s from a K and G magnetics. The two to bucks a magnet. But they work fucking awesome. They're totally worth the money. Like other magnets I've gotten are shit. K and G magnetics make some pretty good magnetics. Or magnets I mean. Um, yeah that pump is just it's pretty good. It's a bell pump and it's uh worked longer than its warranty in the metal it's anodized with three year warranty. I've had it like five. I just got this chain guard to uh, my pants kept ca catching up under here and pinching under the chain. I just got this chain guard, but it doesn't fit 100% yet. I need to make some adjustments. My pants keep catching on here, and like as you can see, it's loose because my pants catch on this spike and it bent it. And like, yeah, I don't know. Something's loose. I I I don't like fudge it. Um, yeah, you can see the washers here. Like this bolt wasn't what that they gave originally was way too short. I'd have put a. I might make my own bolt. I'd cut it down to size and put a bunch of washers, and that might be part of the problem because it's got a countersunk head. There's only one I can find with the right threading. But as you can see, coming along pretty well. I got my lock here. Um, the seat's Cloud Nine. Uh, it's pretty good. I like it. It's got shocks under there. They don't really seem to do much, but hey, they're there. Better than nothing, I suppose. Um, there's a diamond back uh, shock absorbent seat post. I like it. It definitely works. The only thing that's odd is it wobbles a little bit. No matter how tight I tighten it, it tightens. That's just because it's shock absorber. Yeah, jerking motions. Haha. <laughs> the shock absorber is a. Uh, um, it just has a little bit of wiggle, that's all. It's a little weird feeling, but it works. Like, it's much better than having a solid seat post. I got these Cool Stop brakes. The MTB Cool Stop. Uh, they have two compounds. They work really good. They got this little bevel on the back that squeegees off dirt. First, I thought it was a gimmick, but as you can see, definitely, definitely works. There's, like, grime that squeegeed off so definitely works whether it's improvement or not I don't actually know but they work better than the old brakes used to um, yeah these are the original brakes on the front I only have them there I had another set of these brakes but I gave them to my friend for his bike that we're working on so these are the original brakes but they're, they're not attached also as you can see these are uh, linear V brakes Front. I got cantilever brakes. These are the original brakes of the bike. These are off of the last bike I was working on. I like these brakes a lot more. I just haven't switched those ones out because I don't use the front brakes. I don't have the means to because with my e-bike kit, the double brake that I used to have, one of them basically got replaced by an electric brake rather than a front wheel brake. If I can find a way to get or someone who can mill me a triple or even a quadruple break that'd be one, one thing I want to do um, the reason a quadruple or well, triple so I can have my front brake back you got the two front brakes the electric wire that's three and then the fourth one I'd like I'm building a trailer it's gonna go in the back it's gonna be a camp trailer have solar panels and a tent and basket and whatnot to carry everything um, yeah There's not a whole lot more I can say just uh, been slowly working on it. It's a bunch of parts from different places and whatnot. Take me a long time to get this far. A lot of learning, but uh, yeah, I'll try and leave links for all the various parts. Some of which I won't be able to, of course. But hey, I'll try and get you the best I can. And that's about it.